Hi, friends. I am so happy to get to see you virtually and、uh, talk to you a little bit about、uh, something that I get a lot of questions about. So, if you're an event professional that is responsible for getting eyes on screens for virtual events, You want to listen to this because it might just give you a little bit of clarification on the many different platforms out there. And that is one thing that I get asked a lot. The difference between all those platforms, a lot of event professionals, I understand that they have a hard time grasping. So I want to cover this hopefully as briefly as possible so this video doesn't turn into a super long video. So, I'm going to start with talking about bidding platforms, streaming platforms, social streaming destinations, and event registration platforms. Those are the four t y p e of different platforms that I'm going to cover and give a few examples of each so that when you start thinking about your fundraising event, your virtual fundraising event, you sort of get an idea of what all those platforms are about. Obviously, it makes it so much easier if you just hire me and a production company to do this for you. But if you're the do it yourself type, I get it. I'm so much like that myself. So I want to give you the tools to do it right if you're going to do it. So, bidding platforms. This is the most important platform that you are going to need to raise funds. You want a platform that is designed to get you up and running quickly with a seamless end user experience. So, you can focus on engaging with your donors and know that the auction is running smoothly. Examples of bidding platforms are Greater Giving, Octria, PoolAuction.net, GiveLively, GiveSmart, OneCost. Those are just a few that come to mind. And you need to have this set up. And ready to go, you want to have a benefit auction near to guide you through this process and get everything set up for your online、um, silent auction or live auction. And this is all happening online. This bidding platform might also have the capability to live stream, like for example, Autria has that option. However, if you want a product that is professional and it has a production level to it, you might want to. Have that part done by a production company that can also engage with other content part of your auction experience, fundraising experience. So that's when we go into streaming platforms. This is where you have a live streaming platform that is designed to video hosting all your content and allow users to upload and broadcast video content to their audience. Options here include Vimeo Live, WebEx, Hopin,、um, Map Your Show, StreamShark, and DataCast. And there are actually tens of platforms out there. This is just highlighting a few that I see are most popular. Ultimately, only your team can decide what solution is best for your video needs. Ideally, your choice will support all sorts of video use cases, both internal and external, and offer the necessary security and customization features so that you can keep your content safe and on brand. We personally prefer using Vimeo Live, and you don't need to know this, but the reason why we, we prefer that is because. You can easily stream natively to multiple social media destinations straight from video social media live streaming software. With the click of a button, you can simulcast to an embedded、uh, Vimeo player,、uh, Facebook Live,、uh, YouTube Live, and any other custom RTMP enabled social destinations such as Periscope. The next platform is the social streaming destination. And this is Something that goes hand in hand with a streaming platform because、um, you could have a streaming platform like Video Live and then still push to other social media platforms such as YouTube, Facebook Live, Periscope, Instagram,、um, IGTV, LinkedIn Live, even, and Twitch. Live streaming to channels like mentioned above can give you the opportunity to attract the viewers. And bring them back to your own website, to your own landing page by creating eye catching content that improves your positioning in the news feeds for those social media algorithms. And when you first 
begin to experiment with social media live streaming software, remember to just take one step at a time. There's a lot to, to it. There's a lot to learn. And it's better to maybe channel your efforts into a great live event than a handful of hard to manage multiple streams and video posts. You also want to make sure that if you're going to push to different social media destinations from your uh, streaming platform, you have moderators and people that can manage and respond to comments or take questions on every single channel that you're going to push to. The next platform is going to be probably the platform I should have started with because it's the event registration platform. That's where you have the opportunity to access and manage the attendee database. Often the software type of platform includes mass communication tools, allows organizers to contact their attendees within the application, and it might even generate reports to help you understand the reach, the cost, and the effectiveness of your event. Such event registration platforms are Eventbrite, Vuva, Zapier, Attendees, Visibu, Clear Events, I mean, there's a lot of those out there as well. Like I just covered just a few because the list could go on and on. One thing to keep in mind, most event registration softwares would offer you some type of a event marketing tools, online registration, payment processing, messaging tools to contact your attendees, digital event guide for attendees, report generation tools, and attendee data management, including customizable permissions. And you want this platform, if possible, to integrate with the streaming platform, or maybe even your bidding platform, so that everything, your CRM is all in one place and you can easily generate your reports without having to go to each individual platform separately. I know that, for example, Octria offers you that type of integration for many of the event registration platforms and you can use Octra within a streaming platform so that you can produce this successful event that not only engages your audience, but also raises the funds that you ultimately want to raise. Now, depending on your audience, they might prefer one platform over another or have a presence on many places at once. After you become more familiar with all these platforms and the social media streaming, it'll be easier to expand your strategy to include multiple destinations. If you wanna start with just one, I would recommend that you start with the streaming platform, which is the most important platform. That's where you create your product, your TV show, if you may. And from there, you can push to different social streaming destinations. You can embed your bidding platform so people can easily donate on their phones, on their devices, on their web browser, wherever you, you're set up to do so. Diversifying and to multiple um, platforms is a great way to reach viewers on multiple channels. And your strategy should definitely accommodate those viewers. And I guess, the takeaway for this is having a plan, an event producer that understands virtual events and a great AV partner providing the necessary technology because there's a lot of technology involved that I'm not even going to cover in this hopefully short video, but there's a lot to it. It's very, very important for the success of a virtual event, the success of a virtual fundraising event and it can, it can also be the alternative you can have full confidence in, one you can trust to deliver the engaging experience that your attendees want and also raise the funds that you set your goal for. And I totally understand that all these platforms and all this technology can be very intimidated and you might not even know where to begin when it comes to implementing live streaming technology. Well, the good news is for anyone that's watching this, for anyone that's looking to leverage this technology, our professional web streaming experts and live streaming platform, we have all that for you. And we can integrate that, we can accelerate the time to value, we can speed up the, the pivoting process and enable your virtual event success. We can also make accommodations very specific to your event needs to help with everything from concept 
to execution. All you have to do is just give us a call, contact me on Instagram messaging, Facebook messaging, call me. And I would love to sit down with you virtually for a free consultation and just discuss uh, your event, learn about your event and all that you are planning and your goals so that uh, maybe we find a way to uh, be a great fit for you and your future event. May that be virtual or hybrid or hopefully in person one day. So I hope this video answers some of the questions regarding the platforms that so many event organizers have questions about. Let me know if I can answer more of your questions. I would love to do so. And uh, it's been great talking to you and I hope you found this helpful. Uh, give me some feedback as well because I want to know if this touched on any of the questions that you had about platforms and if there's anything that I could add to make it easier for you to grasp the meaning.